What we have here is a 1998 Chevy pickup. Has about 80,000 miles on it. And this truck belonged to a good friend of mine. Uh, his name was Gene. Uh, he actually gave me my first job about 23 years ago. And uh, anyways, he has moved, since moved on and he left me his truck. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun with it. Uh, kind of make it a little bit of mine and also something I think he would be pretty impressed with or proud of. So big plans with this. We're going to do something a little more unique with it. My plans are is to keep the 305 Vortec in it. We're going to convert it to multi-port fuel injection using a marine Vortec intake so we can keep the same throttle body and all of that. And uh, we're going to go boost. It's going to be pretty cool. Bought some stainless turbo headers from eBay. We'll see how those work out. Hopefully they fit. Might need to modify them. But this is going to be episode one of uh, getting things ready. Rolled up today to pull an engine harness out of this bad boy here. Brought my buddy Benjamin here, who uh, immediately rolled up, and all he cares about is this beautiful third gen. You want to you want to give him a tour of it? No. And he is drooling over this yellow color. I think. No, oh, I've always wanted an original yellow which I would assume this one is, but I got confused because uh, it's got the uh, 85 to 87 side ground effects, but a 91 and 92 front ground effects on it. Probably got no swap or something, which no big deal. He kind of has it for these things. So I have a few of them. Anyways, we came here to pull the wiring harness out of this truck. And what better way to do it than drive Gene to do it. And mainly, I'm getting the wiring harness out of this truck because it's red too. <laughs> or because it's free. First time. You know, it might help. You gonna unlock it? Might help if we actually pop the hood. Maybe. Try that one. I can find the last this time. I should just pull the motor out of this because it's a 350. Yes. That's the whole thing we're gonna be getting rid of. Yeah. This big plug here. So the real reason we're pulling the harness is because the marine intake has to have eight spots for the injectors because we're going to go to a multi-port. Yeah. And I didn't want to cut that harness up, so we're going to take this one off. So and then splice something splice into one. that. Yeah, Ben doesn't know it yet, but he's actually going to splice this and make it multi-port harness. So okay. um, he's going to put one of those douche connectors on it and... Is that called douche connectors? Deutsch. Deutsch. I like, know a guy. That was your nickname in high school, wasn't it? No. <laughs> I don't have one. I don't have a nickname. I don't know. It sounded like it would be a good one. Deutsch. <laughs> I mean, I pronounce it English, which is just douche, but. Yeah, douche connector. <laughs> T -shirt no, they called that. you Benny Bear. No. <laughs> no, I didn't get that until I started until I was playing video games. And that's what my friend called me. Benny you Bear. You got called Benny Bear for video games? Well, well what type one, of video games one, are they? Oh, jeez. <laughs> one, one friend called me Benny Bear. So what kind of sucks, I haven't figured this out yet, is the map sensor that's in that marine intake has a single bolt that holds it down. Yeah. And like the one like on the this LS. one. This one's like the LS, yeah. Clips in. Clips in. in no, know. so the one, that's probably like the one that was on the Holly Pro Flow, where it bolt is mine has a, a, has a hole Single in a bolt. Hole. Yeah. So I need to get something I mean, like I'm, that. I've threaded mine, but. Well, of course you did, because you just. Shut up. I knew. Yep. I, I'm on a budget. I don't know if you've seen that, but. I like free stuff. What is. Oh, that's going to be the crank sensor. Oh, I'm going to get dirty. I can feel it now. O2 sensors. <laughs> Don't need those where we're going. What are you talking about? It will be emissions compliant. Yep. Sure. Sure. It will be. Hear that? Big brother, emissions compliant. <laughs> really, he just brought me to be a glorified parts getter. Tool getter. No, really, I brought him because I bring him along on everything I don't want to do. So, <laughs> Someone's got to have patience. Yeah. You really hand me this little... Yeah. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? You don't have a long <laughs> extension, though. I know I'm used to working with smaller things, but this is bad. Jeez. <laughs> All right. We're under orders to not lose the screwdriver. 
Yeah, you already lost one of those. I did not. I'm pretty sure you did, because they were all there before you worked on it. It's fine, though. <sighs> it's fine. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Good. That sounds awful. I'm trying not to get that in this right now. Are you up to date on your tetanus shot? My wife is. She got one. That That's really effective on Friday. you. <laughs> it's just really effective on you. Well, the, the, they say I don't the, need a tetanus shot. My wife has one. Well, hey, they say the theory is that the baby gets the tetanus shot because my wife got one and, you know, I've been in her too, so. <laughs> I sure hope this is the right truck they figured to have the harness off of. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> like, so hilarious. <laughs> There's not another OBS, is there? Yeah. It's down there. No, I'm just kidding. There's not. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, I've almost got the entire wiring harness out in the time you've done that. I know. Clubs. I know. I'm aware. Did you pick that side because it was in the shade? No. That's a good idea, though. I'm going to pretend I, I did. That <laughs> seems smart. <laughs> I am. My backside's burning. There's so much wiring. I know. I can't wait to... Can't wait to what? Vincent? Prune it. We're going to prune it. He's getting pruned. He's, he said, I can't wait to prune it, is what he said. That means I don't have to do anything. Pulling that wiring harness took Ben and I about an hour and a half. Now that I got it back home, I can start repinning it. Now that I know that the wiring harness that is in the truck can be rewired while it's in the truck or repinned while it's in the truck and run on the 411 ECU. So some of the OBS guys are going to tell me, oh, that swap can be done while it's in there. I know it can. However, with wanting to cut the injector plug off of this harness, I don't want to cut up the factory harness in this truck. This truck has a lot of sentimental value and I want to make sure that I can return it to exactly how it was. So what I'm going to do is use the harness I pulled that way I can modify it, weed out the uh, EVAP and EGR and all that stuff since the marine intake doesn't have it and then put the multi-port fuel injection plugs on it and then put it in the truck. So right now I'm going to post a clip from about six months ago from when the intake manifold came in. So I've been looking for one of these for a little while and I was on eBay and just happened to see one get listed and it was on there for just a couple hours already had several watchers so i just went ahead and paid full price for it because it was a bargain and uh, i'll show you guys what it is for project gene these are powder coated from the factory and you can tell powder coat's not in great shape need some tlc but I think we can make it look nice. Originally on this stuff, I was going to take it to a powder coat shop and have it done. And I ended up having a lot more that I wanted done. And the cost of powder coating everything that I wanted done was uh, a little too steep for what I do. I tried to keep everything on a budget here. I'm okay sacrificing a little bit of quality of my powder coat just to keep it within my budget. And like this stuff right here, I guess, if you're going to do it yourself, really depends on what what your budget is, how much space you have, what your time frame is. And for me, uh, I picked up a dual voltage Eastwood gun on Marketplace, once again, Addicted Marketplace, for $20. And then locally, I had an oven that was in town I found also on Marketplace for free. The powder coat didn't turn out too bad. I wish I would have used a filler primer. That way you wouldn't see all this texture through here. Matte black on the bottom or satin black, victory red on the top to uh, match the truck. It's not too far off. It's close enough for what we're doing. I'm going to head over to the bench and show you the fuel rails. So I've been, as you can see, the, all the mess on here. I've been scraping the fuel rails because this paint was chipping off. They're not quite clean yet. Still working on those, but I do got to get those finished up so I can put them on the intake manifold. I stated in the beginning of the video, this is all about collecting parts, getting it ready to go. So now we have the intake manifold ready to go. We have the harness ready to go. Well, after it's repinned. The turbo's here. And last, we have the turbo headers. Obviously, there's a lot more that's going to go into this. I need to pick up a set of injectors. I need to possibly put a bigger fuel pump in. I need to get the intercooler, which I think I have one of those. I have one of those. I guess I just need to get some intercooler piping. Other thing I have going in the truck here, we have a Vigilante converter. I guess we could have went with a supercharger, but eh, turbo will be a lot cooler than that. Project Gene is well on its way to uh, being boosted. As long as I keep rolling and keep motivated on this thing, 
the next time I post, it should be running on the 411 software and maybe even have the uh, Marine intake installed. So it's just going to be step by step. And then as soon as that goes, we'll be able to start throwing in more parts. The first step is getting it running on the 411 swap and the marine intake manifold. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.